Lou, Lou, Lou. Our boy Lewis Seen. Now, we know he had an amazing game against the Cleveland Browns. He did everything that you asked for out of a safety. He led the team in tackles. He had an interception. He had a sack. I mean, he was filling the gaps. Things that we've been looking for since we drafted him. Things that he did consistently in college when he was at Georgia. It's just hard, and I said this before, and me, SK, and Realistic Randy touched on this on our new show, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the channel, Purple Parlor. We do it every Monday. We would want to see you there next Monday night, man, because we have a good time talking Vikings football, and you don't want to miss it. It's lit, right? But this is the thing, man. Lewis Seen was asked straight up, do you think you've earned a spot on this 53-man roster? Now, there's a lot of us that feel like no, all right? Time has already ticked away. It's got away from them. There's just no redeeming yourself. I don't care if you get 10 picks next game and 50 tackles. It just doesn't matter. There's just something not there. But what I do respect about Lewis Cena is this is how he answered, man. A man's confidence, bro. I like this, bro, because in my honest opinion, what I saw against the Browns, and now, yes, it's a preseason game or whatever, but I see that being is that a trend that's what i would ask myself right as a fan looking in i'm like is that a trend because that's actually who we drafted or who we thought we were drafting you know so i like what i saw i'm gonna keep it real but he said i'm not oblivious to knowing this is a business at the end of the day but i am confident in myself i like that he said a healthy me is a dangerous me that's all i have to say about that that saying right there is classic. A healthy me is a dangerous me. And the way he laid that hit on on uh, Tyler Huntley, shout out Huntley too, man. I like him. I think we actually should have brought him in at quarterback, but that's a whole different discussion. That's neither here nor there right now. But man, Lewis seen, man, look, I think there is room to keep him on the roster. Now, I know we're talking keeping X amount of wide receivers and X amount of safeties. And what are we going to do in those two groups? Because it's either going to be one or the other when you think about Lewis Seen. I think if they're bringing six wide receivers, then obviously the safeties are going to be cut down or if there's vice versa. So there is some discussion here. There is some stuff to think about. I think, in my honest opinion, that Lewis Seen should stay on the team. Now, I know a lot of people feel different from that, and that's okay. All right. I'm not mad at you for feeling like that. All I'm saying is I like what I saw last game. And I just want to know if that is a trend, if that is the actual Lewis scene. Like, is it finally out of your head, that injury? Like, are you finally comfortable now? Are you feeling it now? Like, is that a sign? Because players can switch back to their regular self within one game. And it's tough because time really isn't on his side and we got to expect to see him in one more preseason game against the Eagles and hope that he has another game like that. But I'll tell you what, if he has another game like he had against the Browns and he leads the team in tackles and winds up getting a pick or a forced fumble or something in a sack, I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to make the 53. Yeah, he will make the 53 because Knowing Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, he's going to look at that as a trend. That's a trend now. Now he did it two games in a row. Okay, it's finally here. Lewis Seen has arrived. Now, whether we get rid of him, trade him, cut him, whatever the case may be, it's not going to be any skin off my back, man. I, I just want to see the kid win, to be honest with you. Because when we drafted him first, I didn't really know who he was, didn't have much information on him, felt like the pick was a horrible pick. So ever since then, man... I just been rooting for him because I was like, well, well, maybe this is a diamond in the rough that, you know, Kwesi Adolfo Mensa sees and he knows more than obviously we know. So he knows something I don't. So I was excited to see it. And it's like I'm still holding on to that and I'm still hoping to see something. Now, I know a bus is a bus, right? It's been a couple of years, but I also incorporate the injury. It's the type of injury he had. I always said when that happened to him that it's going to take a minute for him to get that out of his head, man. I think it's a lot of mental stress because when you snap your leg like that, bruh, you just, you know, I'm sure he gets reruns of that in his head as he's running in a gap about to lay the hat. But Saturday against the Browns, it showed that he had no regard. He played out there and stacked the bodies. And that's what we want to see. Do you think Lewis Seen can make this 53-man roster, man? Hey, look, I know people might say it's an obvious cut, an obvious release. We're not getting where he's not making the roster. We might try to trade him in a couple of days. Listen, 
I think you're going to be surprised, man. I think Lewis seeing, I think they actually like him as a person because he is a real humble dude. And I think they're going to keep him on the roster and try to develop him at least this season right here. I think that to be honest with you, they would get rid of one of the other guys. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's going to be Cam Bynum, obviously, or Harrison Smith or Metellus, but I mean, Theo Jackson, yeah, he's been balling in, in training camp, but that last game, he didn't look good either, bro. He didn't look good either. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Drop it down in the comments, man. Let's talk about it. Let me know how you feel, man. Will Lewis seen be a Minnesota Viking going into the 2024 season? Let me hear about it. I'll let your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear him talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm tourist. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage.